Israel launching a ground incursion in Gaza, the evidence already being seen in the nighttime sky. ABC's Hamish McDonald reporting in from the region tonight. The blazing night sky above Gaza was the giveaway. After hours of heavy shelling, confirmation Israel has begun the ground phase of its operations in Gaza. This strip of land is being bombarded from the air, sea and land. Artillery units, infantry, the armoured corps are all being deployed. Another 18,000 reservists are being called up tonight, a total now of more than 60,000. For the past week, we've seen this steady build-up towards this moment. We're just seeing two, three, four tanks now moving across. Uh, there's another long line of them waiting in these fields to move in. Israel's military is telling ABC News there is no time limit on this operation. The mission to bring calm and quiet back to Israel, that is, stop the rockets and prevent Hamas from conducting operations like this. Today, heavily armed militants used underground tunnels to get into Israel. For five hours earlier, there was a window of hope, a temporary ceasefire, but expectations of an imminent lasting truce are now shattered. At least 240 people have been killed in Gaza so far. This afternoon, they buried four boys killed yesterday as they played soccer on the beach. But these will not be the last funerals this war brings. David, there are significant risks for Israel in conducting a ground operation inside Gaza. They have been there before and it has not turned out well.